Good morning, people of God. I say good morning, people of God. So, the, are you? my name is Precious Ndlovu, and I have come to testify about the wondrous things that God has done for me. First of all, can we give our thing? Can we give our Heavenly Father a round of applause? Because that's we, He's our Heavenly Father, and He's done. He was, he's done it for us, and He'll do it again. So my testimony starts about two weeks ago when I had the, I had come down with the flu. So I had gone with my mother to the the, the doctor just to like think because it was normal standard flu, okay. So then when I went to the doctor, the, she the, she she examined me, and when she was done, she the, um she came to the the conclusion that I had an irregular heartbeat. So then. She, thingy, she's, she said um, I should go to the, the cardi- she ma- I must set up an appointment with the cardiologist and, thingy, and go and get, an exa- get examined so me and my family thingy, me and my family like in disbelief we didn't see thingy, this wasn't something that we saw coming so as the days were going by thingy, we were in constant prayer and meditation constant prayer and meditation we were th- all, and all of that then we come so the appointment for the cardiologist was for the, it was happened last week Tuesday. So then the Sunday before that we had come to we had come on prayer line and we decided okay we are not going to let we are not going to let something like this affect my life. I, it is not my portion. So then um So then as we are on prayer line, I'm, thinking, I'm praying and I'm busy meditating on the word of God because I do not want this for my life. I didn't want, the, I didn't want to come back the next week having said no, thing, uh, having, having the diagnosis that I have an irregular heartbeat. Okay, so then thingy, through constant prayer and meditation, constant prayer and meditation, when came, come that Tuesday when I had set up the appointment with the cardiologist, he thing, he did the examination on me, and after thing all all of the tests and whatnot, he came back to me and he confirmed with me and my family that no, everything is fine. My heart is beating normally. There is nothing wrong with my heart, uh, and all of that. So yeah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister, for the benefit of those who are listening, please tell us what, the, what was the problem that finally led you to the doctor the, who later told you that you have a heart condition. So, when I had gone to the doctor, they had thingy. The doctor had examined me and had, thingy, and had diagnosed me and said, no, you have an irregular heartbeat. You must go to the cardiologist to, thingy, to check thingy, your heart. So then, when I had gone to the cardiologist, um, ju- even during that time, even as I, I was sitting there in the waiting room, I'm busy praying and meditating. I'm praying against any attacks of the enemy that is that they, he's trying to get to me through whatever diagnosis the, the the doctor themselves found. So then, when I got to the cardiologist, after doing all the tests and all of the thing and all um, all the tests and all of that. He, con- he came back to me and he confirmed, no, nothing's wrong with your heart. Everything is fine. There's no irregular heartbeat, none of that. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. And all the time. Sister, we remember that your testimony occurred during this very month when the man of God Prophet Isaka declared a word when he was teaching on meditation. Kindly tell us what happened on that fateful Sunday when you came here, having been diagnosed with heart condition. So on that very Sunday, um, I was sitting in prayer line and I was, I was, bus- I was, I was inconsistent prayer, like praying against any attacks that the enemy was trying to send through this diagnosis. So then now, as I'm praying, as I'm praying, um, thingy, after the prophet had come on, and then now he was praying for all of us on prayer line. He prayed for us, we got sprayed, 
thing and everything was fine. Nothing, my heart wasn't, nothing was wrong with my heart. I felt that in my heart, nothing was wrong, okay? So then, again, when I went to the cardiologist, at this point, I believe, thingy, I believe wholeheartedly that nothing is wrong with my heart, nothing has gone bad, not, no attack of the enemy that has, be, that has tried to be, have tried to be sent to me has prospered. It has not, thingy, nothing has happened to me. And indeed, that's what happened. When I got to the cardiologist, he confirmed with me, nothing is wrong. There's nothing wrong with your heart. Your heart is beating normally. And you will, he even, <laughs> he even confirmed that thingy, uh, what you call this, my, my heart is beating so normally and healthily that I think that I will continue to live for the next probably like 80 years. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Sister, we can see something by the notice board. Could you please tell us what that means? So, so on this notice board, the first paper thing that we see here was with the, the general practitioner telling me, confirming with me, that no, you have an irregular heartbeat and you should see, book an appointment with the cardiologist. Okay, so then the second report here is just the cardiologist himself confirming with me that no, everything is perfectly fine with your heart, nothing is wrong, and all of that. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Say, neighbor, whose report do you believe? Say, neighbor, whose report do you believe? Sister, so for the words of encouragement, please tell us, like before, I mean, just after the doctor had told you that you have a heart condition, how did you feel there? I felt, I felt very worried and scared because it wasn't something that I ever saw, it wasn't something I saw coming in any sense of the word, okay? So then now, instead of letting that fear come over me and overcome me. Instead, I stood, thing, I stepped out in faith and I decided, no, this is not a thing. This is not my portion. This is not something that is for my life. So instead of, thing, uh, instead of staying in that fear, I decided to pray and meditate and be in consistent communication with God. Like, Father, this is not my portion for my life and, th and we both know that, okay? I don't want this for my life. You don't want this for my life. Um, and yeah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. People of God, this is an encouragement that when you encounter several challenges medically, before you go and seek medical attention, it is best that you come and hear from God first. Praise the Lord. So, sister, with what the Lord has done for you, what is your promise to God? My promise to God is honestly to continue thingy, to be in continuous pray, thingy, prayer and communication with Him. People of God, as much as oh, yo, that's not how I want to start this. Um, <laughs> as we are in the month of meditation, as Prophet has instructed us, people of God, may we be in constant prayer and meditation. May we be in constant prayer and meditation and meditating on the Word of God. People of God, if by all technical means, by all technical means, this could have, been, this is a small issue. But if me and my family, my family and I, had treated it as such, and we had decided not to pray about it, to pray against any attacks, the devil could have very well turned this into something it was not, it was never meant to be. So, my words of encouragement is for us to be thinking prayer warriors, for us to be in constant communication with God. When we open our mouths and pray, the, king, the, yo, the kingdom of darkness must tremble, people of God. Amen. Let yeah, us put me. our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Sister, in order for you to, I mean, what kept you going after a word was released by the doctor? What kept you going in terms of, I mean, that keep on motivating your prayer life, your spiritual life during that course of time? So, people of God, may we open our Bibles and turn to Joshua 1 verse 9. Are we all there, people of God? Joshua 1 verse 9. 
This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Say, neighbor, whose report do you believe? Say, neighbor, whose report do you believe? Hallelujah. The Bible said that when a problem has gone beyond the power of med medication, it simply becomes a curse. And who can remove a curse? It is only Jesus Christ of Nazareth that can bring a permanent solution to all of your challenges, both physically, spiritually, and otherwise. So, sister, with what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you, what are your words of advice to those of us who are bearing several medical reports? Those who are here in our midst seeking the face of God for one thing or the other. People of God, my, word, my words of advice are this. When in, a situ, in whatever situation you're in, when God blesses you, when God heals you, when he, when he delivers you from that situation, when he moves that mountain or helps you climb over that mountain, believe it is so. Believe you are healed, you are delivered, and you are, you are restored. Because do not, let any, do not let anyone, not the devil, not any naysayers, take away your testimony, take away your blessing, take away your deliverance, and put doubt, thing, put doubt in your heart. Always believe, always believe in our in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because He died on the cross for our for our sakes, for us to be for us to be healed, for us to be delivered, for us to be saved from any afflictions, any any attacks from the enemy, from the kingdom of darkness, and yeah, and He loves you. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God, for this wonderful testimony. Amen and amen, sister. We also stand here in God's presence to declare advice and admonish you as you just read for us in the book of joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that this book of the law should not depart from your lips you are to meditate on it day and night and whatever you do will surely prosper and as you continue to go and make the word of god the standard of your living the standard of your talking the standard of your doing all we pray and believe with you that you shall come back with glorious testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, are we happy for this testimony? Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ.